So in this video, we will be taking a look at the simple API hooking in C Sharp. So this is the function we have. Let's say this one as the uh, normal function. And every function starts with this uh, function prolog. So this is the XR EX, EX clearing the EX register and then setting up the stack frame. So we are pushing the uh, previous functions uh, base pointer onto the stack and then copying that ESP value into the EBP. So that EBP points to this uh, latest uh, value on the stack and also ESP also points to the latest value of the stack. Now the stack uh, gets increased. So this is the basic uh, uh, function prolog uh, that happens on the stack whenever the new function is about to be uh, called. So these occupies uh, 5 bytes. Now what we are going to do is we are going to overwrite these bytes with a jump instruction. So with a jump instruction to my uh, custom function and this custom function uh, is called hooked function. So in this custom function uh, this uh, will be calculating the offset between these two function addresses and then we are going to jump uh, with this offset and then the program execution goes to this function. Now the program uh, gets started uh, executing at here. Now we are going to uh, rewrite uh, these bytes back to this function. So we will be saving this uh, these bytes in an array. And after the program execution got into this our hooked function, we will then immediately uh, write these bytes into this function so that uh, this function will be a varied one so that uh, these function parameters will be passed on to this function. So we can examine the function parameters and do whatever the uh, operation we want. So this is similar to the backdooring uh, executables where we overwrite the entry point to the code cave and then save registers and uh, uh, execute the shell code then uh, pop back the registers and then continue uh, uh, jump back to this uh, instruction uh, original entry point so that is what we do in we have seen in the backdooring uh, executables this is also similar to that one only but except instead of saving all the uh, general purpose and uh, uh, e flags we will be uh, saving these five bytes we will be saving these five bytes in an array and then we will write the opcode of jump this offset. So whenever a function is called the program uh, execution goes from this point to my uh, custom function to our custom function. Here immediately we will be copying we will be restoring these bytes at this address because uh, this function should execute uh, like a legally. So, all these parameters will be passed on to this function and we can examine the uh, parameters and do uh, particular operation based on those parameters. So let's see here we are going to use the message box. So we all know the message box. I think we no need of this one externally defining. I am I wrote here just to show you the syntax of this first one is the handle and second one is text and the caption and the type of the message box. So, so message box is in the user 32.dl. So we need to load the user 32.dl. So after loading, we will get handle user 32 handle. And we are going to find the address of uh, message box here. So we can use get proc address of user 32 handle uh, and message box here. So let's uh, call this as func address. So this is the uh, actual original function address. So we have found the address of message box. Eh? Now we are going to save the first five bytes of this function uh, at this address. So let's declare a byte array which says saved bytes new byte array of 5 five length. 
now we need to copy these five bytes marshall dot copy and you can say function address copy from that address into the destination array called saved bytes and starting index 0 from where you want to copy and the length is 5 you can also put saved bytes dot length to make this uh, flexible so we have saved these uh, 5 bytes into this one now we need to uh, find the actual address of this uh, hooked function so in c++ or in c it is very easy but in this c sharp we need to declare something called delegate so uh, we can delegate is like uh, function pointer similar to that of c and cpp so we are going to declare a delegate so uh, of this signature that exactly matches to that of this message box or whatever function we are want to uh, hook so first one is the pointer string string integer so that is uh, why i have uh, showed you the syntax so now we are going to create a function public static let's say a hook function and this takes exactly the same parameters so the signatures should be uh, the same sorry void now i have declared uh, one function okay that should do it now we need to find this is my hooker function i need to find the address of this so we can say marshall dot get function pointer for delegate so it will get the uh, function address for that exact delegate and what delegate we want is of type message of type message and hooked function so i am getting the function pointer for this hooked function of the type message delegate and end pointer uh, we can say hooked function address now we got the uh, hooker function address we need to subtract these two uh, and we need to actually subtract these uh, two because these uh, five bytes uh, these occupy five bytes so it will be like uh, hooker function address minus uh, function one address uh, minus five so from here onwards we are going to jump so so let's make another byte array that is jump that is also 5 bytes and the first one is first byte is uh, 0x uh, e9 so that is the jump opcode uh, opcode for the jump instruction and the next 4 bytes will be the uh, address of this one address of this uh, operation so let's say uh, who could function address minus function address minus 5 so this should give me the uh, offset so let's say in pointer int offset okay we got the offset we need to copy these uh, bytes into this jump so we can do that uh, using uh, bit converter dot get bytes of this offset and we can directly copy without creating a new array so you can use array dot copy this is the source array and the source index is 0 and the destination array is uh, jump and the destination index is 1 because already e9 occupies the 0 index and the length is 4 
so we have successfully copied these offset into this uh, array uh, now what we want to do is we going to write these bytes into this function address so this is like a jump to that offset so before that we need to change the uh, protection function address and size uh, 5 bytes new protection 0x40 that gives a uh, read write execute and old protection is equals to 0 and out okay this so we have changed the uh, protection now we can uh, copy marshall.copy uh, jump starting index 0 and the destination is the function address and the length is jump dot length now we have overwritten the these uh, uh, stack uh, stack frame uh, product with this uh, jump offset now whenever i call this function it's gonna execute it's gonna uh, program gonna execute to this hook function so now uh, we cannot directly call uh, message uh, box here so we need we have the address so we need to marshall dot get delegate for function pointer function address and the type of uh, type of message now this gives me the uh, this gives me the delegate so i can i can say message m is equals to type cache this explicitly now i can call this function so we are just uh, executing that function at this address uh, with these uh, parameters int pointer dot zero and let's say regit function uh, really regit comma zero now whenever we call that function at this function address the jump offset gonna execute and the uh, program execution goes to this uh, hooked function now this is our hooked function now we can uh, copy back those saved bytes so to access these uh, variables in this so you can make them static so delete here And the next thing we want is this uh, bytes. So saved bytes. So we can access here. So let's uh, copy back these bytes at this address. Marshall dot copy. source saved bytes index 0 and function address and saved bytes dot length now we have copied back these saved bytes into this uh, address now we can call this function and these parameters will, will be passed down to this function so similarly uh, we can copy this one and paste here so let's go and change this to i am from hooked function <laughs> not really legit so let's build this so whenever we execute this function the jump instruction gets executed and the program jumps to this hooked function 
here we have already overwritten these bytes and the function will act, will execute normally because we have already uh, written those saved bytes now we are executing whatever code we want so let's run this and we can see here it says i am from hooked function and if i go and say uh, Uh, H, so uh, we are directly copy. We are directly putting this uh, parameter into this function. So whatever uh, we pass here, it will be executed as it is because it's the same uh, parameter. So these antiviruses and EDR solutions will monitor these parameters whenever there is a call to these uh, functions. So they will monitor these parameters and define whether it's uh, malicious or not. So you can. So uh, we can also modify like this. If uh, string h is it dot contains h dot uh, two lower dot contains. So whenever uh, let's say uh, if the string passed on to this function contains a uh, string like malicious, so then what we are going to do is we are going to copy this one, paste here. Uh, so let's uh, let's think we are the uh, antivirus. So whenever there is a uh, malicious uh, in that string, so we can say sorry, you are detected m2 otherwise what we are going to do is we are going to just pass the parameters as it is h and l and i so L and I. So you are detected and you are blocked, or you are logged. So, so let's run this, and it says I am from rigid function. Whenever there is a word malicious, now it says you are detected, you are blocked. So this is how uh, API function. Uh, so uh, looks like so we can say else now you can see you are detected so this is uh, how you hook uh, api in c sharp